Help commands can get very boring and very repetitive, especially when you're coding them. If you've created a custom help command before, you know what I'm talking about. And let me introduce you to dynamic help commands. This is a help command where you don't have to do any coding for each command at all. It automatically adds every single command for you and you have to put in like one line for each command that you have and not even one line, it's like half one. And let me show you how you can do that today. So here I am in my Visual Studio code. And what we wanna start off by doing is we wanna create our help command. But before, there will already be a default command named help. Discord already defaults this, and it's just for beginners if you want to test out your bot right away. We want to start off by removing this. So I'm going to run client.remove underscore command. And then you're going to pass in help. If you're using bot, then do bot. And I highly suggest you make this in your main file, not in cogs, or else it won't be as well. Now what you want to do is you want to actually create the command itself. So now, you want to do that, and we're going to add, we're going to call it help. What we want to pass in is ctx, and that's it for now. Now, what we want to do is do embed equals nextcore.embed. And then you want to pass in in the title, let's just say help or drones help, like so. And then we can make this double quote so it doesn't interfere. And then we can add a description saying whatever you like. So if you want to do help command or drone bot. and then end that off so it should look something like this this is just basically a default embed in next chord and or in discord or anything that you're using it should work for all python forks and just regular discord.py as well but now here's where things get different what we want to do is we want to add a for loop saying for command in client dot walk underscore commands and what this would do is this will go through every single command that we have inside the bot and it will run this for loop every single time there is a command and then we want to do description equals command dot description and then do if not description or description is none or description equals to nothing like blank then you want to do description equals no description provided and yeah like so and then what you want to do is do embed dot add underscore field name would be and add the toto key and make sure to f string it so like that and then inside here add whatever your prefix is and then do command.name like so and then in your value you should just add description and also i forgot um add this where it says command.signature over here let me command.signature and inside of this if command dot signature is not none else this just makes sure it's the proper command and everything like that and it won't return an error and now lastly what we want to do is just do with ctx dot send embed equals embed and boom that's your help command ready but if you run this right now it won't work because we have to add some stuff. So what we want to do is let's register our first command as the command. So description equals, and we can create this. We're just going to do whatever it says here. 
Let's copy this and paste this in here. Then we're going to make another sample command just to show you how it would work. Okay, so I really quickly, you just saw in a time lapse form, but I really quickly just created test command. It took me like five seconds, it's not that much. And this will be like your all of your other commands, right? So you probably have a bunch of these just laying around, you know, like this could be your bot or anything like that. But you know, we only just gonna have one. You should apply this to all of your commands. And inside this, where it says client.command, we want to add name equals test cmd whatever the function name is just add that there and then add a comma and then description and whatever you want this to be okay that's what i put in as my description and you want to go ahead and do this for every single command that you have it may seem a bit tedious but it will pay off in the end so now let's go ahead and let's run the bot and hop into discord so now here we are in my beautiful home, discord uh please join the link down below in the description and funny number sort of but yeah what we want to do now is basically just run the help and it shows this up and it says the test cmd test command for video i don't know which is this description that we set and then the help command and you're like okay so now if we go back to our Visual Studio code here, and let's actually update this right now. We'll add a new command, same thing, and but this one we will have test in CMD. And update that here as well. It'll do the same exact thing, but when we run it now, and if we go into our Discord and do D help, now you'll see there's also testing CMD. And I added nothing else to the help command itself. I just added it in the little decorator. And that's it. And it automatically does. It automatically puts it in. And I did not work. It's a lot easier than having to manually put it in as a new field every single time. This automatically does it for you. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Till next time, close to go. See ya.